So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Really helps me out if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel, it is appreciated. I'm trying to get news, updates and the latest things in boxing to you guys. And it really helps me out if you could do me a favour and drop me a sub, it is appreciated like I just said. Anyway, we are just about six weeks away from the Andre Ward so guy Kovalev rematch at... The Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, this is the rematch because the first fight was so close and in a lot of people's minds controversial and it was a fight in which Andre Ward just won, all three judges scored the fight 114, 113, all giving it to Andre Ward by a round. A lot of people were disgusted by this saying Sergei Kovalev deserved to win the fight clearly and I can understand when people say I thought Sergei Kovalev won the fight by about one or two rounds. But when you start saying Sergei Kovalev won the fight by about five or six rounds, then you just lose me completely from the conversation. And I'm just like, whatever. Because I just didn't see that at all. I had Andre Ward winning the fight by a round or two. I probably by about two rounds I gave it Andre Ward. I just thought he did the better work in the later half of the fight. And yes, Sergei Kovalev did get the knockdown, but sometimes knocking your opponent down once in a fight, it's not going to win you the fight. Because it is a 12 round fight at the end of the day. And I just thought Andre Ward did the cleaner work, he was landing the cleaner shots in the later rounds. And that's what Andre Ward does, this is his bread and butter, he's very good at nicking rounds. He's done this throughout his career, like he's there, he's landing them extra few shots in the round. What the referee, not the referee, what the judges are watching. And that's what they're scoring, and he knows what they're scoring, Andre Ward. So he knows what to do in there to get the rounds under his belt. And in my opinion, Sergei Kovalev seemed to gas out a little bit after the eighth round, and he wasn't doing enough, in my opinion. Apart from the knockdown and a bit of domination in the first three or four rounds, I didn't see Sergei Kovalev land many clean shots. Like, he was landing a jab all night long, but that was about it, really, after the... Fifth round, I thought Andre Ward was comfortable going into the seventh, eighth, ninth round. Like, he was comfortable in there. And that's what Andre Ward does. He gets in there. It might take you a couple of rounds to adjust to your style. And that was nearly a mistake on his behalf. Because he nearly got knocked out in the second round. Because he was there trying to still figure out Sergei Kovalev. But once he figured out Kovalev and what he knew he had to do then I thought he was comfortable in the fight like he managed to take away Sergei Kovalev's right hand so he didn't get hit with that big right hand really for the rest of the night and I just had Andre Ward winning the fight and Harold Lennonman for HBO scored the fight 117 111 didn't he was it 117 111 he had it something like that and I thought that was ridiculous I don't know how you had Kovalev winning by that margin like, that's when you lose me, when you start saying Sergei Kovalev won it by scores like that. I'm just like, no, I didn't see that fight. And, yeah, it'll be very interesting because Andre Ward, after that fight, became the pound for pound number one in the world and Sergei Kovalev is number two. So basically, these guys are fighting over the number one pound for pound spot in the world and see what you want about the pound for pound list because basically the pound for pound list is just a list to say... If every boxer was the same size, then these would be the top 10 boxers. But not all boxers are the same size. People fighting smaller weights, people fighting heavier weights. So really, the pound for pound list is irrelevant. But it's just something that's been around for years and years and years. And people like to say that it's um, prestigious to be the pound for pound, top 10 fighters in the world, stuff like that. And... I think Sergei Kovalev needs to change stuff in this fight because if he goes in there and boxes the same way he did against Andre Ward the first time around, then I think Andre Ward's adjusted to that. And I think if he goes in there with the same kind of style he did in the first fight, Andre Ward's going to think, well, he boxed like this the first time, I can adjust to this, I can win this fight easier because he's not changed anything. So Sergei Kovalev really needs to go in there and try and change something. He needs to try and work better on the inside. Because that's what Andre Ward was doing. He was tying Sergei Kovalev up on the inside. And then the shots on the inside. Working the body over. And that was winning in the rounds. Stuff like that. And Sergei Kovalev can't allow him to do that. 
also he needs to stop looking for the big shot all night, Sergei Kovalev, because Sergei Kovalev is a good boxer when he wants to be. And he just needs to stop looking for the big shot and try and box with Andre Ward because he is a talented boxer, Sergei Kovalev. And he just needed to land more shots instead of looking for that one big shot. Like he just wasn't doing enough. After the eighth round, Sergei Kovalev wasn't doing enough in that fight. And yeah, basically, this is just my opinion on this. Comment below in the comment section your opinion. It's JM, it's speedboxing.